Default text Houthi cruise missile hits Israel. First time any Houthi fired object has landed in Israel. Yemen's Houthis have claimed responsibility for a cruise missile launched from the Red Sea, which landed near Islet. The port city, in what marks the first time a projectile fired from the Iranian backed group has struck Israel's territory successfully. Without interception, the Iran aligned Houthi militants have repeatedly launched drones, rockets, and missiles at international commercial shipping in the region since November, in what they say is in solidarity with Palestinians against Israel's very heavy military assault in Gaza. Previously, Missiles and drones fired from Yemen had hit neighboring countries or territories or were intercepted by Israeli air defense systems. Israel Defense Forces IDF said on Tuesday it had tracked a suspicious aerial target, which it confirmed was a cruise missile. The Times of Israel reported no damage or injuries were caused but hit the land. Inside Israel, media has contacted the IDF for comments and verification. The Houthis also targeted the Marshall Islands flagged liquefied petroleum gas. Tanker motto in the Red Sea with naval missiles, the militia's military. Spokesperson Yaya Sari told the press, although the Houthi rebels describe the tanker as American Aquasis's shipping database says it is owned presently by the Greek company Naftamar. The Houthis claimed it targets vessels with connections to Israel, but it has frequently hit vessels with no clear links to the country, but mostly its allies or supporters in Europe, hence disrupting global shipping. In response, the American and British navies have led international attacks against Houthi targets. The USA military said it had destroyed seven missiles and three drones on Monday in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen that threatened commercial ships and American Navy vessels. These actions are taken to protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer and more secure for American Navy and commercial vessels. CENTCOM described in a statement, the Houthis control most of Yemen, including the capital, Sana'a, and the main Red Sea port of Hadeda. They have been locked in a civil war with Yemen's internationally recognized government, which is backed by the America and Uorpi, and Saudi Arabia as well. The United Nations former special envoy for Yemen, Jamal Benamar, previously told the press that the American attacks against the Houthis in the Red Sea, is another miscalculation, and that only a permanent ceasefire in the Gaza and Hamas can end the Houthis maritime strikes. In a separate attack on Tuesday, Houthi group blew up a house in a town southeast of the capital, Sana'a, killing at least nine people from the same family, the Associated Press reported. It came a day after two Houthi fighters were killed in an ambush allegedly set up by the alleged house's owner.